hail from Charleston, West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We drove all the way from Minnesota uh, to Charleston, uh, West Virginia yesterday. Mm -hmm. I would not necessarily recommend that choice. <laughs> um, it was a very long day. So, yes, we're a little bit tired, but I think we have a short, a much shorter trip today. Mm -hmm. uh, going from Charleston, West Virginia to Charleston, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Right. So we left yesterday morning at five o'clock and got, actually got here at 10, 10, 15 p.m. So it was a really long drive, but you can see Tuck is with us back there. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Um, so we're gonna actually head to a place called Two Door Breakfast, Two Door Biscuit for breakfast, and grab some biscuits to go. And then hopefully this evening we're gonna get to Charleston and grab some dinner. So we'll show you guys that. And <laughs> Tuck, what are you doing? He's a white cat that's roaming around oh. out there someplace. Okay, so we'll um, put some clips in from yesterday. We didn't do our intro yesterday because we were kind of tired. So we'll put some clips in from after this of yesterday's drive or whatever. So hopefully we'll be in Charleston soon and we'll show you guys lots of cool stuff. Cool. So see you in a bit. bedroom is where we totally <laughs> mess it up or the bed I should say isn't that pretty here's the bathroom that they redid it's so cute they put in this um, rain shower Pretty tile, but then there's a clawfoot tub, um, the stained glass, and look at the pretty chandelier. And then she's added like all these cute touches. There's even like shower steam or Epsom salts, and then another cute light fixture here. And look at that sink. So cute. And this is the second bedroom. This is where Tuck stayed last night. So it is a little bright in here. And this is the second bedroom. This is where Tuck stayed last night. So it is a little bright in here. So when you walk into the front door, this is the front room, like the living room. Let's see. And the name of the Airbnb is Peace Like a River. So many cute like little nooks. on chair just like cozy up with the book or play a game so cute here is the little plaque of Virginia cute. then you go into the kitchen area little dining area she had fresh flowers she baked baked blueberry muffins and then here's the kitchen. More like all the dishes. Oh, she has a jadeite mixing bowl. Um, you might know I collect jadeite. Everything you could need to make a meal.
think that door, one goes to the basement, one goes to the back door. And then this, we think this whole area was added on, it was with the bedroom too, but um, this is like the backyard and the back deck. Cute. So there's some sort of industrial facility behind there. Um, but a nice big backyard, fenced yard. So we let Tuck run out here this morning. Cute chairs. And this is the laundry. And I think that's also new. Because I think where that stained glass window might be where the house originally ended. She's got these cute little doors right here. So here we are at Two Door Biscuit. They were real sweet in there, super busy. And the drive through is really busy, so I just went inside and grabbed it. Brian got the ham and cheese. Oh boy. It looks good. It's pretty good. <laughs> the, the cheese is really salty. <laughs> I mean, it's like liquid Velveeta. <laughs> it's a once in a lifetime sort of treat. <laughs> you might not get many more lifetimes after that. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're going to um, be doing kind of a biscuit shootout. So you'll have to mm. remember how yes. this one is compared to some of the other ones. The biscuit itself is pretty flaky. It tastes mm -hmm. good. Good. It's really good. So. And I just got a plain, a plain biscuit. So I'll tell you how it is. Ooh. You can see it's really flaky. It's really kind of light. It is a little salty, I would say too. Um, I'm guessing they use shortening mm. for the fat. I'm not exactly sure, but it's, it's decent. Um, we got two plain biscuits, a large coffee and Brian's ham and cheese. I think it was ten fifty, so not bad. So yeah, I'll munch on that. And I think a little like jam would have been good. I didn't grab any, but I didn't want to mess in the car. <laughs> so anyway, but it's good. It's good for kind of a fast food mm -hmm. place. It's decent. We don't really eat fast food, but <laughs> when you're you know in the south, you got to try biscuits. So. Mm -hmm. I saw it off the highway yesterday and thought, well, that'll be kind of fun to try it out. So I said to Brian yesterday, do we need an oil change before we go? Or actually two days ago before we left. No, no, we're, we're fine on oil. We should be good. We pull in here. He's like, I need to add a little oil. So I don't know what happened. The light went off, but he didn't tell me. So when he gets back, I'll ask him. Of course, he's wearing this really nice outfit. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't get oil all over it. So I also just wanted to mention the Airbnb we stayed at last night. It was so cute. Um, they totally remodeled the whole thing and I did a little tour of it. It was $200 a night, so a little expensive, but when you have a dog, when you're traveling with a dog, you need a place that will take dogs. <laughs> Are you camera shy? <laughs> so anyway, um, this is not, we came through here and stayed a night the last time we were in Charleston. We're going to Charleston, South Carolina. We were coming from Chicago to Charleston, West Virginia. And I think it was a Hampton Inn just off the highway, which is a totally different part of town. So the part of town that the Airbnb in was in was um right next to the power plant so and we drove in like i said it was dark and raining and um we didn't know where we we're going we had the gps of course but you know i think i would just suggest um you know again we felt fine we you know we're just there for a night we just needed a shower and a place for tuck and a yeah, cozy bed I did actually ask you, and shortly before I was talking about the Air, yes. Airbnb, 
I was wondering about the oil. So the oil says that it doesn't need to be changed mm -hmm. until 20,000. Mm -hmm. We're not there yet. Okay. But it ran a little bit low. Okay. So I needed to put another port in. Thankfully, I know how to do these things. Yes. <laughs> it's good that we have you, sweetheart. Yes. I uh, <laughs> used to have really bad cars. <laughs> so, wow. so I know how to fix these little <laughs> things. <laughs> So anyway, I was talking about the Airbnb and I was just saying, we felt fine. It worked for us because it was very clean. Oh, it was yeah. very comfortable and very cute. You'll see how cute it was. They clearly put a lot of attention and care into it. Yeah. So it was perfect for us. Um, but just check the area out. I don't know if I was by myself. I don't know if I'd feel safe um, just yeah. by myself. But if you're with your family or whatever, I think it's okay. I mean. Yeah, I think in general, kind of West Virginia, there's some more rough areas. They haven't put a lot of money into the city, I think. So, no. um, but anyway, that doesn't mean you shouldn't come. No, it's you know? it was a beautiful place. Yeah. So and it was really well done. So super yeah. comfortable. And we slept really nice. A beautiful king bed. Yeah. The shower, a huge like rain shower. So it was really, really nice. After driving all day like that, it was really nice for us. So. Yeah. We would recommend it. It was yeah. comfortable for us, but you would have to check out and see if you would be yeah. comfortable there. Yep. All right, my arm's getting tired now. Okay. Oh, sorry. Use this one. This looks like the downtown maybe area. <laughs> so we've been using Apple, yeah. Apple directions. Yeah. And Brian just realized that the Mazda navigation it actually comes up on his windshield we can't see it but he can see it which is really nice so we just discovered that he's actually had we've had this car for how long two years two years <laughs> the, the other thing that's nicer and someone who probably knows Apple CarPlay better than I will say it will say they have the same thing but this actually shows me where the next place to stop to eat is. Oh, yeah. As well as, like, um, the next gas, gas station, station and mechanic. And sometimes I think it'll tell you the, the rest stops. Whereas, you know, yesterday we tried looking for a, a rest stop, a rest area next to available on Apple, Apple Maps. And it, it was kind of a fiasco. Yeah. So, so I thought we'd try it out different today. Yeah. We've arrived. <laughs> and the dog is really anxious and we want to get inside. So we're going to try to grab some dinner and unload the vehicle. But here we are. We made it. We made it. After how many hours? 17 hours later. I'm just kidding. Ew. Actually, today it was like... We left at 9. What time 10. is it now? No, we left at 9. Oh, I know. At 10 hours. Oh, 10 hours. All right. So, All right. we'll see you in a little bit when we get our dinner. Sounds good. Right, Tuck? <laughs> he's mad. He's giving us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys, come on. smokehouse and I got the brisket sandwich was like their take on a Reuben I guess so they use brisket instead of pastrami so it's supposed to be good I got coleslaw and then our host left us a bottle of wine and Brian got macaroni and cheese ribs and slaw and he's hangry because he didn't eat lunch <laughs> So my Reuben sandwich was very, very good, except I really like Reuben's, <laughs> regular Reuben's. And this is like a beef brisket sandwich with coleslaw and the Thousand Island and Swiss. So it's excellent, but if you're really wanting a Reuben, it doesn't really taste like a Reuben, but still very good. Coleslaw is really good, nice and tangy, crunchy, really good flavor. Brian got the mac and cheese. Oh my word. That's a Brian for the win. Yes, that was, Brian got the best thing. <laughs> it's like smoky. 
Like they smoked it. It's so good. Ian will love that. Smoky mac and cheese. Oh, is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Smokehouse mac and cheese. Okay. And then he got the ribs. Very good. And coleslaw. Very good. Tender? Tender. Uh, not overdone, but they're, I mean, they have a nice coating. I so you don't really actually need the sauce. I was concerned there was no sauce, but mm -hmm. it's kind of coat. Uh, it's coated with like mustard or something. Oh, okay. It's really good. <clears throat> okay. It's really good. So. so I would say we would recommend Pugin Smoke. Oh yeah, very absolutely. Much so. It was easy to get to. Yeah, right easy on. Easy to pick up the food. Yeah, so. we just called. 20 minutes by the time we got there it was ready it's right on east bay we'll put all the info on the description box below um so it was really good and brian said there was some people in there so um yeah, yeah you can you can have it delivered you can dine in or get takeout so we're just kind of tired from driving so we just wanted to and we didn't want to leave tuck um since this place is new to him so we will i will do a tour of the airbnb but I just have to say, it is gorgeous. Like, even Very more, nice. It's, even better than I thought it was gonna be. It's so The nice. pictures don't do it justice. Mm. Yeah, it's very nice. And the location is perfect. It's perfect. Like, so, Rachel, for we're gonna the be, win. We're gonna be living it up for the next 28 days. Do I get any credit? <laughs> you get some credit, yes. Some credit? <laughs> I totally found it. I picked it out. Totally. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so yesterday we forgot to do the outro. <laughs> we <laughs> ended. It. Anyway, we just unpacked after dinner and we had a glass of wine on the little, what do you call that? I like to call it a veranda. A veranda? But it could be used to uh, patio is usually when it's on the ground. <laughs> I didn't know there were rules. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we just relaxed and kind of got settled in. So anyway, thanks again for coming along on our little road trip. All right. See you later. See you later. <laughs>